Many local fishermen here along the coast say they're still not seeing any signs of a comeback after the oil spill. Some say they're continuing to see a significant decline in the amount of fish they're catching. Reporter Jerry Askin has more. We all have a problem. Anybody that makes a living on the water, we are definitely being hurt right now. Larry Ritchie is like many commercial fishermen along the coast who depend on fishing to make ends meet. It's our way of life. We look forward to We love doing it. That's why we do it. But they say for the past few months, their way of life has changed drastically, and they're pointing the finger at the effects of the oil spill. Usually uh, average about three to four, five hundred pounds on a trip, a three-day trip uh, in the areas that I've been fishing. And uh, three, three fish, my last trip is... Uh, you know, way down. It's you can see here the many boats just practically lined up along the shore. That's because the fishermen say they can't afford to go out on trips and come back with nothing. When this is your way of life and you can't get on your boat and go fishing, you know, uh, it really it really hurts, you know. Yeah, I caught more crabs last year opening day than I've caught this whole season. So that goes to tell you there's something's wrong. A marine biologist in Panacea says the oil that rolled in along the coast killed a lot of the food supply for the fish. But it's not the only factor. It's been a very cold year, okay? You know, but we've had cold years before. And, uh, uh, but if we go out there now and we drop a net, we're not going to catch many fish at all. It's a problem. It's a big problem. And it's not just my problem. There's a lot of people that are hurt. Well, many of the fishermen filed claims and they're still waiting for a check from BP. But for now, they're remaining optimistic and hope that they can at least get back on the water soon to 